Okay, I've been requested to do this uh, related rates problem, um, and it's all on electricity. And after looking at it, um, this is going to be a pretty tough one, um, if you, especially if you don't know anything about electricity. Um, you, at least that's what I think. But um, if your math skills are really uh, together, then you should be able to figure it out. So that's what they're testing you on. That's what makes this a pretty good one. So, okay. Basically, they, they, they've given us a circuit here. Uh, it's called a parallel circuit. And um, basically, there's a resistance. There's two resistances, and they're changing with respect to one another. It looks like one is, one is going down while the other one's increasing. Okay, so what's the uh, rate of change of the total resistance? Okay, and that's what they're asking us here. Okay, um, now they've given us a formula, a resistance total, okay, Reciprocal of resistance total is reciprocal of uh, resistance one plus resistance two. Um, there's actually a simpler formula than this one, but we'll, we won't use it right now. Actually, no, actually for what we're gonna do, this one's gonna work, but there is another formula, uh, just in case you're going into like electrical engineering or something. Um, and here's the information they've given us, and they've also included that they want the rate of change at the moment that R1 is worth 75 ohms and R2 is worth 50 ohms. And ohms are just units of resistance, so don't get too freaked out about it. Um, so let's, you know, ho hopefully I can explain this to you. I'm going to try not to use electrical terms. It's kind of hard, though, because that's kind of my thing. Um, so here we go. Basically, I, I rewrote this, the actual resistance total formula. I wrote it out in exponential form because it's easier to take derivatives of it that way. Okay, so um, go ahead and write all this information down. Um, you'll need all this information right here, pause it or whatever, and then we'll uh, start to tackle this thing. Okay, so I have just rewritten the formula up here, and what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate both sides. Okay. Ooh, that's respect to time. Okay, so and we're actually going to use implicit differentiation because these are all actually different variables, really. Okay, these are all different changing things. So um, just kind of watch and you'll see what I mean here. Uh, I think I'll use orange because it's a finer pen. Uh, take, taking the derivative of r total, that's going to be just negative r t to the negative two, then the derivative of RT over T, okay? Same thing here. I'm just gonna go negative R1, negative two times the derivative of R1, RT, all the way down the line. They're, they're all gonna look like that. Implicit differentiation, okay? All right, so we have that right there. Now we can go ahead and fill in some pieces of information, okay? And actually, before we do that, let's just go ahead and find out what RT is, okay? So we're gonna go back to this formula right here. And remember that they used, actually, I think I'm gonna use a separate piece of paper to, to do this section of it, because, let's see, R1 was equal to 75, R2 was equal to 50, okay? So that tells us that one over R2 T is equal to 1 over 75 plus 1 over 50, okay? So I'm just going to punch this into my calculator because it's much easier to do that. So I'll go 75 to the negative 1 plus 50 to the negative 1. I'm going to get my answer, then I'm going to do the reciprocal of that, and it gives me 30 ohms, okay? So RT is equal to 30. Okay, so let's go ahead and just plug uh, this information in along with everything else, okay? Okay, so I've taken the derivatives. We found out that R1 was equal to 30, so that's just going to be negative 1 over 30 squared times dr dt, okay? Um, R1 was 75, remember, so that's negative 1 over 75 squared times dr 
Okay, and dr, that was negative 1. Okay, so we're just going to go throw a negative 1 in there. Minus r2, so that's going to be 1 over, what, 50 squared? And dr, d2, was worth 1 half. You know, 0 0.5. So we got kind of a messy looking formula right here. Uh, so let's go ahead and see if we can't clean this up. So this is going to be negative 1 over 900 drt dt. This is going to be equal to 1 over 75 squared. That's 56.25. I did that on my calculator. Ain't no way in hell I did that in my head. And 50 squared, that's uh, 2,500 uh, times 2 is 5,000. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, I'm going to I'm going to divide both sides by 1 over 900. I'm going to put a parenthesis in here. So if I divide both of these sides this by 1 over 900, I'm going to end up with negative 900 over here. That's going to cancel out. So drdt is equal to negative 900, and then it's just going to be ooh. I'm just going to write it out, okay? And then I'll type it into my calculator. In fact, that's what they're there for, right? Okay, so negative 900 and 5625 minus 5000 to the negative 1 okay and it looks like the answer equals 0 0.02 okay that's the uh, derivative of resistance so it's going to be in in ohms oops <laughs> oh my god I misspelled a four letter word ohms per second and that's a tenth a thousandth so you could say that this is equal to two kilo ohms is that right two kilo ohms no it's not That'd be, yeah. Let's see here, 0 0.02 ohms times 1 kilo ohm is 1,000 ohms. Actually, I don't know if this is right. My unit conversion. So, no, never mind. Never mind. Actually, we'll just leave it there. I'm sorry. So, it's early in the morning, so... So let's just leave it at 0 0.002 or 0 0.02 ohms per second, which isn't much, okay? And that's going to be your final answer. So just backing up here, um, you know, we 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 were given some information. Uh, like most related rates problems, we had to use a regular formula to find uh, another item. In this case, it was our total. Um, and we just basically took the der derivative of this. And since these are all different, RT, R1, R2, those are all different, okay? Um, so we, we use implicit differentiation. And when we did that, and then we just plugged in uh, some derivatives, okay? And here's the rest of it. It started getting really ugly because, you know, we had, uh, you know, R sub 1 raised to negative 2, we had negatives, and we had derivatives and stuff like that. But, you know, we hacked our way through it, and in the end, we got our answer. So I hope that clears it up for you. If not, just send me a message or a comment, and I'll do my best to make sure uh, that happens. All right, thanks for, thanks for the request.